Christmas. We know it's not the 17th of March, it's not St. Patrick's Day, it's Rice Day. So to everybody in Rice House, we're really sorry you can't be here, but this is our little tribute to Rice House, as bad as what it is. Class of 2020, here you are in all your glory. We've got the image up here. Can't wait for you to be back. Can't wait for you to be out again. That's me, that's that, that's that. It's going to be fantastic when we see you back. Keep working hard though. It's well, students. I've got some information here just this afternoon from VCAR, VCAA, regarding your Year 12 studies. I won't go into any details, but basically they cover aspects about completing, particularly the practical aspects of Unit 3, and your teachers will give you more information about that in coming days. They talk about perhaps some changes to the Unit 4 study designs. Again, that needs to be confirmed, but you'll get more information also in the coming days. And there's also aspects there about uh, VCAL. So for our VCAL students, there's confirmation about what the VCA want for you to also complete your studies. VTAC have also indicated in recent times that most of their timelines are going to be the same, even if university entrance places are a little bit later on down the track. So stay tuned, Mr Simmons, Ms Sykes, Ms Frizza, Mr White, Dr Keane, they'll all give you more information in coming days about some of these changes. So uh, all the best to you as well. We've had a fantastic meeting with our Senior Student Council and they're working on even more initiatives to keep us connected with each other and to bring a bit of fun into our days. And they've given us some tremendous feedback too. We're going to tee up a Middle House uh, Student Council meeting in the next few days with Brian and Rose. And we've also got a model for our peer support students to lead some feedback from our Year 7s. So we're looking to continue to hear from you about how you're finding the learning experience as we do it remotely and hopefully we can continue to improve uh, what you're feeling but it, it's been a really good start, a really strong start. And year 11 students, the big question is debutante balls. I don't have an answer. On the 11th of May, the Premier will make some announcements perhaps about the restrictions being eased slightly. That's probably not going to help us too much from a dead ball perspective so we're not making a decision at this particular point in time. We're really keen to still run them. We've got a few months until the end of August and early September when your dead balls are scheduled. There has to be lessons and all that sort of thing, so no decision yet. Depends on social distancing, but we're keen to still run them if we can. We've put out a lot of pastoral opportunities, uh, things that you can do to uh, give you a bit of a break, a bit of a difference to your day, ways that you can connect with family, ways that you can connect with other students here at, at Emmaus and uh, to keep our, our sense of community strong and, and hopefully to keep your, your wellbeing up. It has been challenging at times for people, but there's been some really fantastic positive elements too. I was hearing from a pastoral teacher today about students of hers who are making Zoom time meetings to sit down and have lunch together and just chat about the day that they're having. What a fantastic way to stay connected with your friends and, and that might be something that you look to do as well. Right. Latest news on the jackets is that it's full steam ahead and everything's progressing the way it should. So hopefully they beat you back to school. Okay, so everybody, the main message is there. This is not going to be forever. Stay positive. Life will get back to normal. And from a school perspective, we're trying to do as much as we can to make you feel connected as part of our wonderful Emmaus community. Thanks, Ike, and we look forward to seeing you back here one day. Let's go and play some more soccer, Steve.